Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how to change the speedometer gear in your Ford vehicle to recalibrate it for a change in gear ratio or tire size. So up until the late 90s or so, um, a lot of Ford vehicles used uh, a gear-driven speedometer. Um, early ones had an actual cable that was driven by a gear, and then later ones like this one here, as you can see, has a gear that feeds a uh, sensor output to the speedometer. And as you might be aware, if you change your rear axle gear ratio or um, your tire size, your speedometer is not going to read correctly. So what you can do, you can actually swap out these gears to a different gear to correct that problem. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to figure out the right one you need and how to change it. So to figure that out, we're going to have to do a little bit of math. Um, there's a few different ways to do it. I'm going to go through an example of each kind. And then after we're done, I'll go ahead and swap out the gear on the speed sensor that I have here. So for a lot of these examples, you actually need to know the amount of teeth that your original gear that you have in your vehicle now has. Um, this particular one here is 21 teeth. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and write that down so we remember that for later. Our first example is going to be if we change the rear axle gear ratio. So for this example, um, we want to find out how many teeth we need in our new gear. And that's going to be our original gear, which is 21 teeth, like I said before, times our new axle ratio divided by our old axle ratio, which is 373. Um, and our new axle ratio is going to be 410. So that gives us 21 times 1.099, roughly. And that ends up giving us um, 23.08, and we're not going to be exact, so we're going to round to the nearest one, which means we're going to go with a 23-tooth um, gear. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next example. All right, so this example is going to be our actual speed versus what our speedometer is telling us it is. So let's say for this example, um, our speedometer is telling us we're going 55 miles per hour and our GPS on our phone is telling us that we're doing 47 miles per hour. All right, so the first thing we need to do is figure out our error and that's gonna be our actual speed minus our indicated speed divided by our actual speed. And in this case, we end up with an error of negative 0.17. So now we can figure out what our new gear needs to be. And that's going to be our original drive gear size, which is 21, times 1 minus our error. That's 21 times 1 minus negative 0.17 and that'll be 21 times 1.17 and with that we end up with 24.57 and in that case we'd probably round up to a 25 tooth gear. So those are the two main examples I wanted to go over. Um, now I'll show you how to actually change out the gear. Um, it's pretty easy actually. The sensor is usually located somewhere near the rear of the transmission. Um, so what you want to do is go ahead and pull that out. And there's a little metal clip right here on the back of the gear. And you can take a small screwdriver and just gently pry that out. And then the gear will pop right off. Um, so this is the 21 tooth that we started with. And from our very first example, I have a 23 tooth gear here. You just slide it on. And then put it Put the uh, clip back in place. And that's it. So after you've done that, you can go ahead and install it back in the vehicle and you should be good to go. All right, everybody, that's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.